I don't have, I actually don't have a television, so I don't really know uh, too much that's going on with the provincial. I, I just, yeah, I don't know too much about it right now at the moment. I mean, I should, I feel like, but I don't just because it's like super hard to keep follow along with that. Everybody seems like super adamant about their position being the best one, so it's really hard to, for me to feel one way or the other, I guess. Well, I haven't had time. This is my weekend coming up to really dive in. Um, I've been using social media to ask other people that I trust and that I share similar interests with. I definitely think the advertising when they um, put others down to raise themselves up is a useless waste of money. You know, I really wish um, people would really just focus on saying what they do rather than comparing and saying, but they don't. It's all politics, you know, they promise you stuff and they don't deliver. You just need your vote, you know. I used to vote before and then, you know, I just stopped voting for because you don't know who to trust. In my experience, it seems that most, most politicians are self-serving ultimately. So you end up with a situation that uh, you know, serves big business, serves corporate interests, and doesn't really pay too much attention to the needs of people, especially those who are basically at the bottom of the pyramid. So uh, unless something really changes, unless something really comes alive in a, in a, with a different, a different outlook or a different paradigm, then it all remains the same and equally as insignificant. The current three, big three, don't interest me at all. I mean, you know, you look at wind with her, you know, uh, the deficit isn't anywhere close to being paid off, but she's going to pay it off in like a year and a half. Give me a break. That's not going to happen, right? So, and, and you can't kid people. Like, unless you can, it's just, it just boggles my mind how the dumbing down of everything is just, it's, so, it's incredible, actually. It's kind of dirty politics. And literally, there are times where I turn off the radio or I put it on mute. I'm not really interested in starting my day with that, on that tone. I was a little concerned that we're even having an election because I didn't think that the Liberal budget was that bad a budget. Catherine Wynne has promised the developmental sector $810 million. I work personally in the developmental sector, so um, I know the frustration and the hardship, what it is for the individuals in service, um, and that money would benefit them a lot. Um. I'm interested. I'm currently undecided, I guess. Uh, it seems like the NDP have shifted to be more centrist, and I'm not sure I endorse their decision to push forward an election in the first place. Like the websites and everything, it's just like super inaccessible. It's like the worst thing to like try and get into because it's also convoluted. Everybody seems like they're saying the same crap, and the NDP won't stop sending me emails. <laughs> I just want bike lanes like in rural Toronto. That's it. That's all I want. Bike lane. <laughs>